today my topic is forced vibrations the definition of forced vibration is the forced vibrations can be defined as the vibrations in which the body vibrates with the frequency other than its natural frequency under the action of external periodic force here this already we discussed about the damped oscillations but here this is forced vibrations of course by addition of uh, external periodic force the oscillation of the body increases that means the oscillations should be certain oscillations per second by, apply, by application of uh, this type of force then it is this is called it as forced vibrations example tuning fork whenever we tune a tuning fork then it vibrates if we tune then it vibrates more than its frequency the force acted upon the particles are generally different types of force are acting on particles a restoring force proportional to the displacement but oppositely directed the restoring force by application of certain force it it uh, develops deforming force and restoring force return back to its, its previous position now the restoring force is directly proportional to minus x here in case of vibration or oscillation the restoring force is directly proportional to the negative sign of x displacement then fr is equal to minus mu into x where mu is called the for force constant or spring constant or certain material constant the frictional force is proportional to velocity but oppositely direction suppose a body is moving in this direction from left to right the frictional force acts from right to left suppose a body is moving from right to left then frictional force acts from left to right that means the always the frictional force opposite direction to the propagation of the body so the frictional force is directly proportional to minus dx by dt that is change distance by time change in distance by a unit time then this frictional force ff is equal to minus r into dx by dt where here r indicates the proportionality constant or frictional force per unit volume now the external periodic force is represented by fe is equal to f into sin pt this is a simple harmonic equation this is f means here force this is the component of the force f means maximum force and sin pt is a component like uh, here f is maximum force p is angular velocity and p by 2 pi gives the frequency of the body here generally we know uh, y is equal to a sin omega t like that here omega represents angular velocity but here at the position of omega we got p p is an angular velocity if we finalize the total force the total force is nothing but the restoring force plus frictional force plus additional force or external periodic force in damped oscillation there is no external periodic force but here in forced oscillation and this is another term added this is external periodic force again i wrote this equation the total force f is equal to fr plus ff plus fe this is uh, restoring force frictional force and uh, external force but according to newton's second law f is equal to ma f is equal to ma uh, we can write ma into d square x by dt square now we have to substitute the rhs expressions of these different terms are substituted in this equation instead of a instead of f we can substitute this equation here like uh, 
एफ आर इक्वेशन एफ आर इज माइनस म्यू एक्स एंड एफ एफ इज माइनस आर इंटू डी एक्स बाई डी टी एंड एफ ई एफ इंटू साइन पी टी एंड सब शूट दीज थ्री टर्म्स इन दिस इक्वेशन देन आई वेज सब शूटेड हियर एंड देन फर्स्ट ऑफ आल वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस साइंस इंटू पॉजिटिव दैट्स वे वे टेक दिस टर्म्स इंटू लेफ्ट साइड अनदर थिंग इज डिवाइड एम एट बोथ साइड्स एंड सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन देन आई टू राइट इन द डिसेंडिंग आर्डर दिस इज सेकेंड आर्डर इक्वेशन दिस इज फर्स्ट आर्डर इक्वेशन एंड दिस इज अनदर टर्म लाइक दिस डी स्क्वेर एक्स बाई डी टी स्क्वेर राइट फर्स्ट देन डी एक्स बाई डी टी नेक्स्ट टर्म एंड एक्स इन दि थर्ड टर्म लाइक दैट यू हेव टू चेंज इट shuffle the terms then uh, substitute uh, 2b instead of r by m and uh, omega square instead of uh, mu by m and uh, small f instead of f by m here then this is called equation number 1 then now we have to solve this in this case when the steady state is set up the particle vibrations with frequency of applied force and not with its natural frequency suppose in this equation this equation is at equilibrium condition that means these are all this is a uh, 2b refers uh, damped oscillation here and the frequency this omega gives uh, that body vibration driving frequency this is this is external frequency if these two are at equilibrium condition then even though these two terms are at equilibrium even though this body is vibrating that means because of the external force applied on it now let uh, the solution of uh, differential equation one here this is x is equal to a sin pt minus theta we have to assume a solution this is because this is in second order differential equation that's why we have to take one solution by differentiating this equation we have to get the actual solution now x is equal to a sin pt minus theta this is equation 2 this is the solution of the above second order differential equation now differentiate this equation with respect to t with respect to t that is dx by dt gives ap cos into pt minus theta again we have to differentiate then d square x by dt square this is minus ap square sin sin of pt minus theta here we have taken this x is a displacement now displacement by time gives velocity and uh, this d square x by dx square gives acceleration here we have derived three terms and substitute in the second order differential equation now <coughs> this is the this is the second order differential equation from the previous sheet equation 1 we have to put d square x by dt square and uh, dx by dt and x by substituting here ap square sin pt minus theta plus 2b ab cos pt minus theta plus omega square into a sin pt minus theta is equal to f sin pt this will be now here the terms are in the left hand side the all terms are pt minus theta is given that's why you have to convert the rhs term also in in the form of pt minus theta then the left hand side will be like this but right hand side we have to write f sin pt minus theta of plus theta that means this theta this theta will cancel then it will return to previous equation that's why we have to adding and subtracting of theta here then this will be <coughs> like this now we have to expand this equation by using sin of a plus b at the position of a 
I have to write p t minus theta at the position of b I have to write theta then sin a cos b plus cos a sin b like this now after this expansion we have to compare the coefficients from left side to right side here by comparing the coefficients a square omega square is equal to f cos theta that means we have to compare the coefficients of sin pt minus theta and sin pt minus theta first then these two will be cancelled this term is equal to this term again we have to compare cos pt minus theta coefficients here 2 b a p is equal to f sin theta this is equation number 4 now squaring and adding this equation then uh, by squaring we will be getting these terms and uh, at RHS we will get 1 because cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 then from this equation we have to find a the amplitude of the body then that will be a is equal to f by root over omega square minus p square whole square plus 4b square p square this is equation number 5 where omega is equal to frequency of the body p is equal to frequency of applied force b gives the damping constant f external force a amplitude these terms are like this now divide we have to find the tangent of the vibrator is or oscillator is now divide equation 4 by 3 this is f sin theta is equal to something f cos theta is equal to something i have to divide these two things i have to divide these things this is fourth equation and third equation these two things then we will be getting sin theta by cos theta that is tan theta by simplifying this equation that is 2 b p by omega square minus p square then the theta of theta is equal to tan inverse of 2 b p by omega square minus p square this is equation number 6 now put this equation 5 in equation 2 put this equation 5 in equation 2 we get actually <coughs> this is equation number 2 here we have to replace a the amplitude with with this equation then we will get x is equal to x is equal to f by root over omega square minus p square whole square plus 4b square p square into sine p pt minus theta that this is x is equal to a sin theta at the position of a we have to substitute equation 5 here now in case 1 when that driving frequency is very small or low that is p is very much the less than omega that means very much less than means which is nearer to be 0 that means if we put at the position of p 0 then we will get f by omega square this is this will be constant here f by omega square this is external force by this uh, frequency of the body will be constant similarly the tangent theta is equal to tan inverse of 2 bp by omega square p square then here at the position of p if we put 0 then tan inverse of 0 that means the angle will be 0 degrees hence the amplitude of vibration is independent of frequency of force this amplitude depends upon the magnitude of the applied force constant mu in case 2 when p is equal to omega if the frequency of force is equal to the frequency of the body that means the external force is equals to the natural frequency of the body then the amplitude will be a is equal to f by root over 4 b 
p square that means if p is equal p is equal to omega then suppose p minus omega gives zero like this this equation will come that is f by 2 bp similarly a is equal to f by r omega by substituting these terms in this equation we get uh, this f by r omega by replacing small f with f by m and uh, omega with p we get this f by r omega similarly theta is equal to tan inverse of this denominator becomes zero because p minus p square minus omega square gives zero then tan inverse of infinity then the angle will be pi by 2 this will be 90 degrees then theta will be <coughs> the amplitude of vibration is governed by damped and for small damping forces the amplitude of vibration will be very large that means we know already whenever uh, the applied force frequency is equals to the natural frequency of the body then the vibration maximum will be there that means when 90 degrees the vibration will be very 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 high in case 3 when p is very much greater than omega that means the frequency of force is greater than the natural frequency then a is equal to f by root over p power 4 plus 4 b square into p square that means uh, whenever the applied frequency of force is greater than the natural frequency then we have to omit uh, the damping constant also that means when uh, that will uh, similarly b is equal to 0 then the amplitude is approximately equals to f by p square this term gets 0 then this will be f by p square similarly tan inverse of uh, theta is equal to tan inverse of 2 bp by omega square minus p square this omega square becomes 0 then the tan inverse of minus 2b by p then if b is equal to 0 here that means the damped constant is omitted here then the tan inverse of 0 by p then whenever the tan theta is equal to b then the angle will be pi in this case the amplitude a decreases and phase difference tends towards pi that means the phase difference will be pi here so this is the forced vibrations or forced oscillations question which is very important for r19 first btec students and first year bsc students okay prepare well thank you